Hi, Omega Chaos here again with another real tech profile and this time I'm showing my new update uh, Solomon Great Tech of course today for the new panelist and stuff like that because we got Minar Stalio back so I guess let's go on this deck alright, first of all stars so of course we use that one Solomon Great Cassel obviously because it's still at one for a really really good reason obviously I don't think I really need to explain this card it just pretty much gets everything going more or less then I use triple salmon great foxy which has a couple of really good effects always being able to excavate the top three cards and then getting potentially a salmon great most salmon great card from it Yep, so definitely really good. It has a really good revival effect as well. So yeah, pretty nice. Then of course I use triple Salmon Great Spinny because now we have Mirar Stalio back so now there is a, a good reason to now use it pretty much. So it's a really amazing card for sure. Then I still, of course still run that uh, one Salmon Great Jack Jack Jaguar Still, of course, really amazing, though, is to bring it out with Mirror Stallo, Stallo if you already have access to Gazelle by other means. Then one Salmon Gate Falco, of course, pretty good to recycle your Spinal Trap cards. Then two Salmon Gate Foul to make some rank 4 plays. Pretty good. Then some hand traps, because hand traps do actually work very well in this deck. Because, you're, because your trap cards are already so powerful, you don't really need to run any more real traps, really. So, of course, triple Ash Blossom and Show Spring. Most is still really amazing. And uh, triple Effect Veiler, because obviously I still don't have access to infinite impermanence, otherwise I would use that card instead of uh, this but still uh, pretty decent of course then I also use triple parallel exceed of course to make some rank 4s pretty much it's a very good extender for sure then of course triple leggy debug which is a really good searcher for your level 3 cyber monsters then I also use just one form of skipper to search out my Parallel Exceed, so yeah, pretty decent, I would say. And the, the final monster in the main deck is two Backup Secretary to get easier access to Minar Stalia. Now, let's see the spell cards. Of course, first the uh, Summon Gate Sanctuary, which can search out with Bailings, so definitely a very important card. Then two, uh, Wheel of the Slum Gate which is a really good extender and revival card so yeah then one Salomon Great Transcendence which is essentially another sanctuary but uh, it's a quick play so I can use it when in my past turn so basically uh, I use it mostly to uh, to link how I have uh, Paraphoenix and then go into another one in my opponent's turn, so I can blow up my opponent's whole field in their turn, so that's definitely, I think, really amazing play. Then one Slum Guide Circle, obviously it's still at one. I wish it was at three, but unfortunately that probably will be too good, and then Slum Guide will be a, a top tier deck again. And the last spells are, of course, the triple Silent Mining, of course, really good searcher for any cyber stack. And then trap cards, I just used um, triple Salmon Gate Drawer just so I can have potential to draw it or just of course to get it to graveyard with Gazelle and then triple Salmon Gate Rage of course another really amazing card obviously you want to have access to both to this Salmon Gate Rage and Roar that's why I run three of each right now but I could potentially cut it down at uh, rage to one probably. So I can, yeah. 
So that was the main deck. Now let's see the next deck. So first is the link four of the Sun Rates to Sun Rate by the Phoenix. Obviously a lot of people don't really run it in their decks, but I want to pretty much and I think it's a very underrated card for sure. So basically if you use a um, some get Power Phoenix as link material for this card, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. So that's totally really amazing for sure. Obviously there you know some way in your turn. You sanctuary and then destroy the field or you use it uh, use this effect as disruption uh, with some great transcendence. Has some other really good effects as well. You can target the link monster in your past grave but then some might in the to that the tear field and then also if a link monster is summoned to your opponent's field you can burn for a point uh, equal to the amount of attack points and the link monster has so that's definitely really amazing for sure then of course I use double summon great hit Leo still pretty good to get your more points back row and the other effect is pretty good as well then of course the main link monster is Triple Summon Gate Sun Knight Wolf, obvious to cycle all your spells and traps and the yeah, monsters as well, so yeah, pretty much needs uh, no explanation. Then two Summon Gate Bailings to search out Summon Gate Sanctuary, and that's of course really good protection effect from the graveyard. I could run free, but I took the third one out to make some space for other cards. Then I run one Transcotoka, still uh, pretty good in this deck. Obviously, I would have, I would like to have access code talk as well in this deck, but right now I don't have that. Then, of course, I use one update jammer for a potential OTK. Then one Nightmare Phoenix, of course, because it's fire attribute and get, uh, can destroy back row. And then some XCs, number 49, 41 Bakuska. I would hard taper, so basically it's the main XCs I go for in the first turn, which is definitely really amazing. Shuts down, up, shuts down, your, shuts down your plant, most effects, so definitely. Then I run one Abyss Dweller, which shuts down graveyard based strategies. But of course, I could run some other rank 4s in this deck as well. And of course, finally, the card we got back. One summon great Minastalia, yeah, of course, because it's really amazing being able to summon any summon great from deck. But of course, you can only then activate fire effects, so you have to be careful when using this card as a really good secondary ability as well to bounce any monster. If you use this uh, link monster for summon great link monster. So, yeah, right now I think we can only use one. I could, maybe I won't, would want to run more if it, if it was possible, not sure. So that's for the deck. So that's it for, uh, this, uh, Soundgate, uh, real life deck profile. Um, so I'm not going to show any combos or anything because I think most people are already aware of them and they are mostly very simple. Just get access to those trap cards more or less. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this real tech profile. For now, goodbye and oh my cues. Out.